It's Larry Honig here. I'm a clinical psychologist in Wellington, New Zealand. I'm from the United States. My original training was in clinical neuropsychology. I worked with people who had head injuries and brain tumors and dementia. And then later I trained in clinical psychology, humanistic and transpersonal psychology, uh, behavioral medicine. I work with clients that have concussions and head injuries and also psychiatric and psychological problems, mostly right now victims of trauma, of sexual abuse. The problems that I see with clients that the ability is really helpful for are the things that people need to uh, do on their own, problems that plague them every day, like poor sleep, anxiety, uh, obsessive thinking, uh, lack of concentration and focus. So we've known for many decades that brain waves equal emotional states, states of arousal. So when clients um, have a difficulty relaxing, then the lower frequencies will help them to sit still and to rest. Particularly for clients with head injuries, that ability to be still to regenerate and rest is very important, but often they don't have ability to regulate. And with clients with a trauma, they're in a constant state of feeling threatened, of danger, of fear, of anxiety. And they can be taught uh, diaphragmatic breathing techniques, other kinds of self-regulation techniques, mindfulness. Um, I often gave people binaural beat um, the audios or music um, that would help them relax. Those things are helpful, but they're coming back to me and I've been using the Bella B about two months and clients are using it at home and they find that all they need to do is put it on and just sit with it and their brainwave state changes. Now compared to other things out there that cost in the tens of ten thousand dollar range like transcranial repetitive magnetic stimulation those are treatments that a clinician needs to do with someone in the office but this is something they can take home and do every day a big difference of course is that we're not looking at permanent long-term changes but we're changing their state and over time of course people are going to continue to improve and get better because they're able to have that period of time when they can relax um, or have that period of time when they can focus and concentrate and accomplish more. And of course that feeds on itself because then they improve their self-confidence that they're able to overcome the kind of either dissociation or lethargy or zoning out that may occur often.